Shvi'i of Parshas Boy. We're rounding off Parshas Boy with a bunch of mitzvahs that are given to Moshe Rabbeinu to give over to the Jews that are directly connected to Yitzhak Mitzrayim. That's the topic, right? So we have in Shvi'i the mitzvah of Tefillin. How is Tefillin connected to Yitzhak Mitzrayim? Well, what's written inside those Tefillin? What's written inside those Tefillin is a description of the Exodus. It's some other parshas as well. There are actually four parshas written in your tefillin to appear in Shvi'i of Parshas Boy. We also have the mitzvah of Yigadta Levincha Bayemahu, the mitzvah of Chinuch telling your kids about Yitzhak Mitzrayim. Obviously, we can understand how that relates to the earlier part of the parsha, which is all about leaving Mitzrayim. And what do you tell the kids? Bavurzeh Asa Hashem Li. You talk to your kids not about them, but about yourself. I left Egypt. Why did I leave Ba'avurzeh? You point to the matzah. You point to the mar. You say, I left so I could be free not to do whatever in the world I want, but to do what Hashem wants me to do. Ba'avurzeh asa Hashem li. It's a personal story, and you give that personal story over to the kids. The next, the end of the parsha speaks about an amazing mitzvah, redeeming the firstborn of Klal Yisrael. A firstborn boy has to be redeemed from the Kohen, redeeming the firstborn Behema Tahira, also redeemed. Redeeming a Chamar, and the only not kosher animal that has a pidyon is actually a Chamar. You take a kosher se, bring it to the Kohen, and then the Chamar is redeemed. All of the mitzvahs at the end of Bai directly relate to Yetzirah Tzrayim. But I want to share something with you. It's not only these mitzvahs that connect to Yetzirah Tzrayim. Do you know how many times the Tzitzit Shrine is mentioned in the Torah? Guess. Who said 50? He's right. It's mentioned no less than 50 times. So many mitzvahs are actually connected to Tzitzit Shrine. Why so many times? Is that an extra letter in the Torah? Does the Torah need to repeat something so many times for us to know it? And the answer is, the fundamental revelation of Hashem in the world. When Hashem came out and He showed the world who He is and what He is, happened by Yitzhak Mitzrayim. It happened through the Makos, and it happened through Makos Bechorois, and it happened through the incredible nays of Hashem commanding the world, and the natural forces were all at His beck and call. We need to know that going into Yiddishkeit, 50 times no less, to remember, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is in control, not only of the land, but also of the airspace above the land, and not only of that, but of the celestial beings as well. That's what the Makis brought home. Yitzhak Mitzrayim is the fundamental point of our Amuna. We need to remember to give that over to the children as much as we can. Have a great day.